When you know what it is you're talking about, that these things are forces, and these are masses, and this is inertia, and this is so on, then you can use an awful lot of common sense, seat of the pants feeling about the world. You've seen various things. You know more or less how the phenomenon is going to behave. Well, the poor mathematician, he translates it into equations, and the symbols don't mean anything to him, and he has no guide but precise mathematical rigor and care in the argument. Whereas a physicist who knows more or less how the answer can go, is going to come out can sort of guess part way and go right along <laughs> rather rapidly. The, ma the mathematical rigor of great precision is not very useful in the physics, nor is the modern attitude in mathematics to look at axioms. Now, mathematicians can do what they want to do. One should not criticize them because they are not slaves to physics.